What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, it's against this level 8 Chinese clan. Uh, these guys made a bit of a war, actually. Uh, let's just hop on over. 79 to 74. Uh, they used 54 or 60 attacks. I'm surprised they didn't use all of their attacks. Um, you know, so they did their best, made it a bit of a bit of a war, like I said. Uh, we were never too worried, though. <laughs> of course, uh, you know, bring those tree stars. They missed quite a few of the nines. Um, I think we missed in a lot of Town Hall 10s. A lot of Town Hall 10s. Um, <clears throat> no, we cleared it. Clear it all the way down. So, you know, uh, good job 2.0. This kind of strange war. Um, but, yeah, there were some really sexy replays in here to show you. I'm going to start off with the mystery man. I'm going to – I usually don't – if there's ever a mini in the clan or someone's alt account, I just call the person by that name of the account, not necessarily the person who owns it. <laughs> but because of this case that I don't have an apple, so I can't see what these characters are, this is Sword, <laughs> just so you guys know. So Sword comes in on this uh, newer Town Hall 11. Um, still kind of, you know, that Expo's got to go up a little bit, you know. No, nothing's got that though, right? 40, uh, 40 Queen, 27 King there. Uh, what level is that warden? Level 4 Warden. So, uh, really nice tech. 12 Witches. Um, it brings uh, the double of the two Earthquakes here, which uh, just kind of, I think, softens up the walls. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I totally didn't miss in the first time I watched this uh, when he used these Earthquakes on. Um, but you see the Freeze, 2 Jump, 2 Rage. Gonna just kind of continue this Queen Walk. Uh, I guess sort of ends up being a Queen Charge, because after that, Elixir... Uh, uh, collector goes down. She is just going to work her way into this base. There goes that goal. Going to kind of jump, I think, everything right into this core, right at that Grand Warden Tower. Uh, second goal has gone down at this top section. Funnel is getting created. Jump is about to go down. There it is. <clears throat> Eagle canister is going crazy. It doesn't matter because they're going right in at all of this. Uh, look at all those witches, and there is nowhere else for these skellies to go but right into this core. All the skellies go in. Bam, right under that rage. Going to just completely wreck that eagle defense. Everything is just going to start going down. Heroes are in. King is going to start working his way, and he hasn't even done anything yet. Grand Warden's in there. Everything's just kind of ripping through this base. is just absolutely mayhem. So I'm saying about these Town Hall 11 attacks. <laughs> Maybe I underestimated them because this is just crazy. Like, like to just, you know, the Queen Walk, yeah, I get it. But, you know, all these witches just kind of judging where they're going to go and when to drop your spells. Um, <laughs> there's probably more than I'm thinking, right? I'm, uh, I have another account, actually, that is going up to Town Hall 10 right now. So I'm going to really start being able to uh, understand the Town Hall 10 and up content a little better because I'll actually be attacking bases with Inferno Towers more often and hopefully going for uh, TH10 triples. Uh, but as you can see, this base is pretty much done for. I don't think there is any more splash damage remaining and about a dozen which is still just ripping things up with the Grand Warden behind. Archer Queen has not even used the ability just destroyed this 11 sword. Nice job, man. Cannon is dead. Does he swag that ability? No, there it is. Swag at the end. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job. Those Town Hall 11 attacks, man. I just, I don't know if I'm ever going to get it. Um, let's check out JJ's hit here. Uh, this was kind of an interesting base, I thought. Uh, you know, 30, uh, 30 heroes, I believe, yep. Um, you know, max, max, Town Hall line. Uh, JJ is a master at these, though. This is his specialty. If you have all lava walls, he is going to three-star you. Uh, funnel goes down like the little giant to kind of protect uh, those funneling wizards. It just creates a huge funnel for the Valks, right? doesn't want to make any errors. Wall breakers just kind of go in, open things up. Um, 
the golem is going to start routing in here uh, with that giant kind of add that little extra bit of protection. Um, I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but uh, really just with the one golem and the two giants, you are conserving, you know, you're getting another four hogs out of the deal. Um, the only problem is the funnel, but those two giants really can can make your day, right? If you just need to create a funnel, don't bring a second golem, bring a couple giants and then, you know, and do it like JJ did, one on either side, and you create this huge funnel for the valves. And now, bam, double jump, everything's in there, right? 36% of the base is down, and he's going to start sprinkling hogs in all over. One wizard triggers that DGB, just fantastic. Hogs are going in. He's got a heal down, like just shredding through this base. Still has a giant, a barb, two wizards as well in the bag. Um, but almost all the defenses are down. I think they are. That cannon is the last thing or whatever the heck that was under all that crap. <laughs> uh, but it's cleanup time, right? That hand's about to burst, but the queen is right in position to help take that stuff out. You know, work on those hogs. It doesn't matter. There's way too many cleanup troops. Still has that giant barb I was talking about in the bag. Doesn't even drop them. Just swags it. J, J. Oh, you did drop it. <laughs> the swag giant barb. Good job, man. Tree stars. Oh, nightmare. Love showing your attacks. Especially when they involve seven dragons. <laughs> uh, so the Zapquake goes down, takes care of that air defense. Uh, very interesting comp. Does have a jump spell in there. So he needs this golem, uh, king, queen, little bit of a kill squad unit to go in and do some work for these dragons. Uh, not often you see this, but uh, what the idea was that was the Zapquake. He needs to get units into this compartment to take care of the, both those air defense. He's going to just send in a crap load of dragons. All angles, right? This huge dead zone. Um, a great read. Again, like uh, always talked about having dead zones that are sort of detrimental to your base in, in a sense. Um, this kind of forces other weaknesses. As with base building, everything you freaking do make something not as good, right? You make something stronger or just weaken something else, it always seems. Um, but to me, this base is so separated, right? Boom, down go these two and three. He's got all the air defense down. And these dragons are going to just completely shred all of this on the bottom. By the time they get up there, there's barely anything left, right? Like there isn't that much to take care of these dragons. Drops a couple balloons in to kind of help out with that expo. Because, you know, they're going to be sitting in there on the king and stuff like that for uh, a little bit too long. But uh, do good tanking. The, the boom, the balloon right over top. Bam. See you later, Expo. See this kill squad still doing work up there. Golem's kind of tanking away. It's going to pit her out. But look. Oh, we're going to sneeze. Oh! Damn. Oh! <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Wish I could have muted that. <laughs> First time I've ever done that. Anyhow, like I was saying, two Teslas, an Archer Tower, a Wiz Tower are the only air targeting defenses remaining. Otherwise, those pops over there, but the Queen's about to finish them off. She does rage up. That dragon's going to finish it off. There's nothing to take care of these dragons. Queen steps up, takes out the Teslas, and there's just too much. And that rage. Didn't even need that rage unless it was a time issue. I'm not sure what the time was on this, but that rage just rips the dragons through the rest of this base. Should be fast forwarding it because it was obviously GG quite a long time ago. Very, very sexy read and beautiful tree star in the bag nightmare. Very creative. And dingus. You dingus. Bring in the five healer queen walk. Uh, really like this attack, right? Uh, just the cold blooded, but the again, right? When you go with that walk, you can really afford to go cold blooded. Uh, you almost have to go cold blooded if you want enough DPS on those uh, uh, defenses uh, to really, really pull through for the three star. So, because uh, if you think five healers is a really big investment on top of two golems, right? So it's a very uh, sensible option a lot of times to take just the one golem, uh, really. And, and again, uh, the only drops four of the five healers. I thought that was kind of interesting. I don't know if he was potentially uh, 
always planning to just drop it uh, at a separate time, but just thought it was really, really strange. But like I said, that uh, in the other videos or the other replays, I should say, the funnel's created. He doesn't need many wizards. He still has, I think, five, four or five wizards in there. Um, but you don't need that many wizards, right? So you can cut down on the wizards, cut down on the golems, send in your king, get the job done still. Uh, I think he still ends up getting both um, both those air defense and gets right into that core. But uh, as you can see, it, it does the Lava Hound being on the king is perfect. Um, sorry, I don't think the king actually gets too, too much further here. He does have to rage up in one moment. Uh, but as you can see, all the hogs going in now. He has three heals to deal with this stuff. And guess what? If you look at this base, there's no possible spots for DGBs. The, just this base doesn't stand a chance. But all those hogs now with two more heals, you're going to drop one more heal here in this kind of bottom section. Hogs are just going to feed on through. And he's got one more heal, almost like, uh, it, I think it was basically a swag heal. If you look, there's really a Tesla. Um, there goes a bomb, but they're still standing under the heel, right? The Lava Hound has no chance of bursting. That queen is still doing cleanup on the outside under that uh, walk. And guess what? He still has in the bag. He's got a swag healer in the bag. Just beautiful attack, Dingus. The swag healer. Thought it was kind of interesting bringing five to begin with. I'm not sure if that was a mistake or if you had other intentions. Or if it was just in case, but uh, nonetheless, nice attack, buddy. Tree stars in the bag. Ugh, I'm getting tired, <clears throat> and my voice is going. This is back to back recaps for me. So, um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it a night here, guys. I'm clearly burnt out. So uh, that will do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help it bag that next three star. Until then, I'm up.